I would say that that symposium uh, has to go into history because the, it was historic in many ways that representatives of different churches got together for the first time really since since the, the, the split started in, in the late 1980s. So this is this is a step in the right direction. But I, I this is. The, as, as Churchill was saying, it, it's not uh, it, it's not the um, end, even the beginning of the end. It's it's the end of the beginning, and uh, um, there is a long, long and difficult road ahead. The main reason for that is, of course, the uh, continuation of imperial traditions and legacies in in Ukraine, where. Um, the churches, the centers of the churches, are situated outside of Ukrainian territory. And uh, in uh, uh, the uh, questions of unity or disunity, uh, the Ukrainian voices are not the most important and the, the, the loudest one. So what, what, what people are saying in, in uh, Moscow, what people are saying in Istanbul, what people are saying in Rome, uh, bear, bear as much or maybe even more uh, importance and weight of what, what people think and do on the ground. And uh, again, so we, we, we live in this really post-imperial world when not just the Ukrainian state tries to assert itself and establish itself and, and gain the trust of its citizens, but the same is true with the, with the um, in particular, Ukrainian a Ukrainian Orthodox Church, given that tradition in the in the Orthodox world is that you have this national autocephalous churches. That, that that is the norm, but there is also this very long tradition of imperial rule over these territories, which included significant religious component. If you think around, look around yourself and look at the institutions that are there, how old are they? decades, maybe a couple of centuries, if you are lucky. You look at the church, this is the institution that survived for, for, for millennia. And uh, the, the, one of the way for it to survive being conservative and moving, moving slowly, and in historic terms, 100 years probably is not, is not a big thing. So but keeping this in mind, it's very obvious that things don't change by, by themselves. So if you do nothing, nothing happens. If you do something, it maybe happens not as soon as you want it to happen, but still this is this is an absolutely necessary element. You, you, you have to know what you're doing and you have to do that. You have to move in that direction. Uh, exercising a lot of caution because one wrong turn and you get another split. And it's easy to get a split, and it's almost impossible to to bridge the gap that then emerges. It's like uh, what is what is the, the, the big reason for Ukrainian uh, Orthodox Church of Kiev and Patriarchate and Ukrainian Autocephalous Church to stay apart in in in, in, in sense of theology, in, in, in sense of uh, culture, in terms of national identity, in terms of vision, what the church is not. But the, 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 there was a conflict, uh, there was a conflict around leadership, they emerged a split, and now uh, now it's really very difficult to, to uh, do. So uh, we can't postpone things for 100 years, but we also can't expect things happening as, uh, as soon as we want them.